Newsflash. If you made James Bond black, racism isn't solved. One of the key parts of James Bond is that he's a womanizer. Oops! I'm sorry, you're not supposed to say that in 2021. He is! If they presented a black Spider-Man, I'm not watching that film. Keep it a stack. People need to keep things a stack. Wait, 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 what do you mean by keep it a stack? James Bond is white. And that is what he is. And I am sick and tired of people tr believing that if you change a white character to black, Hispanic, Latino, or whatsoever, you're somehow solving racism or this is somehow a way in improving racial relations because yes we have finally found a way to be able to now sort of turn this white character that was white for so long and my by turning him black this just shows how we're now improving racially no 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 if you make james bond black th that white guy will still racially abuse you you will still get racially abused and there'll still be racial violence but beyond that Use this example. One of my favorite characters is Spider-Man. That's my dude. I brought all the Spider-Man comics. I was so into Sp Spider-Man. Him being white is a key part of his character. Because Peter Parker is a white dude. And he's a particular kind of white dude. So him being black, that black or something, would take away from what his character is. And the thing with James Bond is people will say, oh no, is does James Bond being white and male, is that intrinsic to his character? It is. First of all, him being male. One of the key parts of James Bond is that he's a womanizer. Oops, I'm sorry, you're not supposed to say that in 2021. He is. That's his character. There's no, there's no need to update it or make relevant. No, he is a womanizer. He is a guy that sweet talks and is very suave around women and so forth. That's just what he is. That is an intrinsic part of his character. And here's where things get real now. People say, he doesn't have to be white. He's just a, a 007. You know, he's just a, a, a special agent. Any race can be a special agent. No, sorry, Bob. Him being white is key. James Bond is part of a colonial mentality. He is for the queen. And James Bond is part of the fabric of England, specifically Old England. James Bond is something cultural, and it is something that is very specifically culturally linked with England and their history and the royal family and so forth. So you making him black, you're just trying to prove a point, and that takes away from what James Bond is. But even beyond that, I think Ian Fleming, who created him, there's this particular reason why he made him white and he made him um, male. There's a very particular reason why he did that. And when you look at how James Bond operates, it can only work as a white male guy. For example, let's just say you made James Bond black. You have to explain why he's black. Because him being black, there are certain places that he can't enter. Because now if you just say, oh, no, it doesn't matter, it's a fantasy and so forth. No, 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 no. Him being black, I don't want to know that. Okay. How did you get this role when we know what this role is and so forth and what the status of James Bond is with regards to England and so forth? How did you, a black guy, a Japanese guy, a Chinese guy, an Indian guy, how did you get here? You know, so, but the, the annoyance here is, and this is the most annoying thing is, and you see it whether it's in Star Wars or Star Trek, people want to take a popular entertainment property and use it for something political. People truly believe that by you changing James Bond and making him black, or by you making him James Bond and making a, a woman, it will somehow solve sexism or racism. That is, has to be one of the most idiotic things I've ever heard of in my life. It is completely bogus and completely stupid. If they presented a black Spider-Man, I'm not watching that film. <laughs> yes, I'm black. If they turn us and say Spider-Man is black and so forth, I'm like, oh, cool, it's great, it's wonderful. I'm, I'm coming nowhere near that film. I'm not, I'm not watching a black Spider-Man. I'm a, I'm a Spider-Man fan. I'm not watching a big black Spider-Man. 
Because the character that I'm a fan of is white. And Peter Parker, being a white guy, is important to his, his, to his character. So you making him black purposefully to try to appeal to guys like me actually find it insulting. And this is the key thing. So if they were to make James Bond black, you should actually find it demeaning and insulting rather than actually it being anything. It's, it's, there's nothing positive of doing that. Do you know what's positive? Create your own original character that's black. So from the ground up, from the very beginning, from its inception, the character is black. Now, that is positive. You taking a character that has already been famous, already been established, and already been, done the groundwork of popularity being a certain way, what you're not doing, you're just leeching off the fame of that character. So what it is, it's like a hand-me-down. It's like a little leg of a, so hey, here, here, take. And it's just because when I just see guys say, oh no, I want it to James Bond has to be black, he's, he's, it'll be so huge and so forth. And the sick thing, that's the thing that annoys me. <clears throat> People truly believe that it's it's a victory. So if it was black, it's oh yes, this is a huge victory. We we got one over the whites. Yeah, you you, you stupid idiots. <laughs> you dumb. Newsflash: If you made James Bond black, racism isn't solved. Just just quickly, racism isn't isn't solved. It's not solved. So, but that's just the world that we live in. The world that we live in is very emotional, very reactionary. And they want their hands in everything. And the, because this is the thing, this is, the, this is how it works. It works as in, let's take something very popular that people care about, that has a massive spotlight upon it. If we now get our agenda or our thing onto it, boom, we have them. Because if they are not and so forth, aha, they have them. And for me, that's a pretty stupid way of going about things. See, now this is like a separate thing you know, for people is that, sh hush, racism isn't going to be solved by change, by doing race swapping and so forth. Oops, just, just a little bit of a news flash. It ain't going to be solved by doing race swap. It ain't, it ain't going to happen that way. But my thing though is, particularly with this whole James Bond thing, I think what people have to ac ac accept and what people have to respect is creativity and the intentions of an artist. Because as I said, I said again, Spider-Man is my guy. If you made Spider-Man black, you're insulting the intentions of the artist. No, Spider-Man is white, leave him as that. You go create a character. Spawn exists, Blade exists, Bishop exists, Storm ex exists. So you're now wanting James Bond to be black. When the artist, the creator, made him white and male for a very specific reason. Because trust me, because I've wrote stories before and so forth. There is a reason why you make a character white or Japanese or Indian, or why you make a character short or tall or whatsoever. There is a very specific reason. The writer did, did, did that. And you have to respect the integrity of the artist and his intention in why he made the character white and why he made him male. And you just have to accept that. You know, because I told you, for me, if you make James Bond black, I'm like, oh, this is trash. This is trash. No, I won't support it because it feels insulting and it feels um, like you're just trying to cater out to me in a very sick, twisted, demented way. No. So the key thing is James Bond is white and he's male. Like the video, subscribe, comment below. One love.